Hey everyone. So today I needed to rewrap um, a set of batteries, parallel set of batteries that I have. Um, this one is still good, but I went ahead and I wrapped the other one. And I thought that I'd wrap this one on video. And I'm just show you guys how I do it. Um, this is the final product. I uh, decided to go with blue this time and uh, you know label the bottom of them uh, it's LG and I purchased them and started using them uh, 3 9 of this year um, and the only reason why I rewrapped them is because this battery uh, I believe the, these were red prior to this and the uh, or sorry white and the top just started getting you know torn up from taking them in and out and stuff so I rewrap them um, you can get them you can get these wraps uh, in pairs for like two dollars um, you can get a whole bunch of different colors um, you can even get translucent ones, which I don't really use. Um, if you don't cut the sleeve off your battery when you rewrap them, which I do know, I have heard of people just you know wrapping the sleeve that's on there, but it makes the battery thicker, and there's no reason to leave the sleeve on there, so I usually cut them off. But um, basically, what you want to do is you want to cut your old sleeve off. Uh, you want to be careful, but the whole battery is. You know protected so you can work around it for a little bit sorry if uh, some of this is in focus I have it set to manual focus so that you guys can see up close but um, here's the battery with it out um, and when you cut make sure you cut the bottom or you can cut them off the top just make sure you don't cut this insulator um, I'm not 100% sure if it's needed but it's there so I like to wrap it with it back on it um, so yeah, all you need is a hair dryer and some knife, scissors, whatever. But you take your wrap and you cut it open just like you're rolling quarters if anyone's ever done that. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I rolled quarters. And then you slide it on. Sometimes it can be pretty tight. Other times it's kind of loose. Um, then what you want to do is you want to push it down and you want to take something that you can see. You want to fold it over. Just gently. Nothing, you know. You don't want to make a seam or anything like that. That I want to go a little bit lower with. So I'll push it down a little bit more. And I'll fold it over. Take a look. Kind of want to go a little bit more. Fold it over. That looks pretty good. So what I'll do is check the bottom. Well, yeah. You want to check the top and you want to check the bottom. Um, sometimes you'll have to cut them, you know, trim them up a little bit. Uh, the company that these are from, I haven't found that I need to uh, trim them up at all, but they will shrink a little. So, you know, you just want to make sure that they're even on both sides. Probably more on the on the bottom. Um, as you can see here, there's a little ring in there from the old battery on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. It's just right there, but you can just try and match as best you can. And um, this one looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink fit the bottom one first, and then I'll do the top. And the reason I do the bottom one first is because the top is not fun. Um, what it is when you put this in there and you start hair drying it, it creates a suction and it'll suck this thing right out of there and go flying across the room. And you want to put it somewhere safe to where you're not going to hit it with the hair dryer right now. Uh, like I did in the other one. I had to climb underneath my desk and get it. But anyways, um, I think the battery just slid in my hand a little bit. So I'm going to check it again just to make sure. Yep. Might as well check as many times as you can. But what you want to do is you want to hold it as best you can and set everything out of the way that's going to go blowing away. And then you want to take your hair dryer. And this is just a travel hair dryer. It's nothing, nothing spectacular. It just creates a decent amount of heat. You don't want it too hot. I've heard of people using uh, heat guns, and I don't like to do that because it just seems like it, it creates too much heat. I guess if you're, you know, if you've used the heat gun multiple times for other projects, and you know how to, you know, keep the heat down and adjust the heat, it might be fine. But just use a hair dryer. Everybody has a hair dryer for the most part, and they're cheaper than a heat gun. But um, I'm probably going to mute this video, or you know make it very quiet so you guys don't hear the hair dryer.
Okay, so I have it for the most part um, down. What I want to do is I want to get the top now, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll, over, I'll heat the overall, you know, I'll heat everything on the wrap all at once, and it just creates a really nice um, reaction and gets rid of the steam and everything. But what you want to do is you want to put your insulator back in there. And what I like to do, and sometimes this can be a pain, is you take your pair of scissors or something, and you hold, you just kind of hold over the top. You can use your fingers if you want. Uh, I usually use my fingers, but you know, during your video, I want to show the easiest, best project process. Excuse me, so you don't burn yourselves. But uh, here we go again. Okay, so I have most of it down. So what I'll do is I will just, you know, hold it out like this in the air, just roll it back and forth to get my keyboard and everything very hot. But um, what you do is you just hold it in your hand, hair dry it, roll it around, you know. Um, let me do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got the second one wrapped, uh, boogered up the top a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit more than what I wanted to, wanted it to be. It's not, you know nice like this one but whatever as long as they're smooth it's all that matters um, make sure you label them so you know you know which ones are which um, but that's pretty much it that's how you wrap batteries um, you know I still need practice uh, it's kind of a pain but overall you know it just makes them nicer makes them last longer uh, you get the tears at the top you know they just I don't know if it's personal choice or what but it just annoys the crap out of me when they get you know boogered up on the edges and stuff and it just seems a little dangerous sometimes um, haven't ran into any problems with them but you know for two dollars a piece or two dollars for a pair you can't beat that but uh, anyways hope you enjoyed the video um, a little longer than what I expected but anyways hope you enjoyed it uh, remember to hit that like share and subscribe button thank you mm -hmm.